Hello students. Today I am going to explain adaptations in aquatic plants. The word aqua means water. Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. These plants have special features or adaptations that enable them to survive in water. Aquatic plants are of three types. Floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. Now I am going to explain about floating plants. Plants that float on water are called floating plants. Duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth are examples of floating plants. Adaptations The floating plants have light and spongy stems. The roots of these plants are not fixed in the soil at the bottom. These are small sized plants with roots hanging in water. Now I am going to explain fixed plants. The roots of some aquatic plants are fixed to the bottom of the pond. These plants are called fixed plants. Lotus and water lily are examples of fixed plants. Adaptations. They have a lo long hollow stem that is light and flexible. It keeps the plant afloat and move without with, sorry, with the water so that they do not get damaged. Their leaves are broad and flat with stomata on the upper surface so that they get sufficient light and air. Here you can see the leaf of water lily. It is a fixed plant and all the stomata are present on the upper surface of the leaf. Next one is underwater plants. Underwater plants are completely submerged under water. Pondweed and tape grass are the examples of underwater plants. These are often kept in aquarium to remove carbon dioxide exhaled by the fish. Adaptations. They have long flexible stem which move along with water. The leaves are thin, narrow and ribbon-like leaves. They do not have stomata. These are the features of underwater plants. So to students, today is this much. Now I am going to give you some assignments. Through attachment, I am going to send the your assignments, you have to complete your homework in your science copy. Have a good day.